Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to show how to download and install the program CAT, which stands for Chemometric Agile Tool. Here are listed the methods to install the software. You can use an automatic installation if only you have an operating system from Windows 7 and only if you have the administrator requisites. Otherwise, you have to use the manual installation. If you want to install the software on a USB memory stick, you have to use the manual installation as well. For the updates, it's enough to download the files corresponding to the folders to be updated, delete the old ones and replace them by dezipping. In particular, in this tutorial, we will see the manual installation. So let's go on the website over here. Now here we're on the website, we click on software and we, here we can see the folders and we click on instructions. Now, as you can see, it is the first installation and it's manual installation. So I'm just highlighting what we're going to do and confirming what we're doing. As you can see, it's CAD. So we go on folders and we go on the local disk and create a new folder and we're going to call it CAD. So here we are. We want to unzip in such a folder the seven files. So what we're going to do is to go and find those seven files. Here we are. Each and every one of them, we need to double click on them to download. It's just a matter of a bit of patience. Now that we have downloaded everyone, we go and download on the computer and um, you can see we've downloaded all seven. Then we double click. We close the unnecessary ones. And we are going to extract them and put them in the local disk on CAT. It is a very important step. Just need a bit of patience again. Here we are. What we need to do now is repeat the same procedure with all of them. So again, we go on cat, we wait, and a little bit of patience is key. I think now you understand how it works, so we'll move it a little bit faster with a time lapse. Again and again, we copy. Here we are on the local disk now. We go on CAD and check. As you can see, we have all of them folders. Now, we have created the folder, we have done the unzipping, and now we need to, to right click on our X to click on recreate the shortcut. We go on to bin, to rx, and we create the shortcut. Now, the properties we have clicked on, we need to insert, by following the instructions, we need to insert the string I'm highlighting right now in the voice target. So we just need to copy the string without quotation marks. It's important without the quotation marks, otherwise it won't work. So we just do a copy and paste per here. Here it goes. Now we need to do the same for the voice start in. And we copy again without the quotation marks. And again, we paste it like this. Then we click on OK. What we want to do is to send the link to the desired location, so the desktop. Right click and rename it first, so we call it cat. And we send it to the desktop to create a shortcut. Now. 
To start the software, we only need to double click on such a link. It needs just a few seconds to start and here we are. It works, so thank you very much and see you at the next tutorial.